Dante Moore, the top recruit in the class of 2023. He's already earned five-star status after his first three high school seasons. Has a tremendous release, tremendous work ethic. This kid can flat out spin it. Out of all the five-star quarterbacks, to me, he's the most well-rounded. I can imagine that pressure. I really think he's handled it pretty good. He doesn't let that stuff get to his head. He just continues to play. He's just humble, too humble. I, I tell him all the time, if I were you, I couldn't be that humble. At King High School, man, we try to embody that as a, as a school, as a football team, the, the fundamentals that we think Martin Luther King would, would have. Dante has that same personality trait as Dr. King, like the mellow, the calm. He's actually being a leader that that you want to see that exhibits, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. And so I love that about him. Dante's dream was being an NFL quarterback and also the number one player in high school. And all these dreams are coming true. My dad has been raising me, my brother, my sister, basically all our lives. He's been doing everything he can do, working three jobs a day, two jobs a day, working late nights, early mornings. My kids have been cooking, cleaning, and doing their things since third grade. They know that. That's how I grew up in my household. Being a single father was to the point where they had to be mature at the time of need. Really, a lot of my you know, characteristics, a lot of my respectfulness comes from him, and I appreciate him a lot. Well, he first threw a football at me at two years old, and it was right on spiral, and it just hit me. Like, I couldn't keep up with the velocity and speed of it at the time. I was like, whoa, this kid's got an arm on him. When I first started football, I was about probably four or five years old. My dad had his own football team. He played on the same team as me, was young. His jersey looked like a skirt. His older brother used to come in and say, he wants to play quarterback, but he's, he's too small. I said, just let him play, just let him play. And he looks at the brother like, see, I'm going to play. You know, so he always had that mentality of, you know, I want to be the QB, and that's what I want to do. To be a successful quarterback, you need to be a great leader. Without leadership, without leading your team, without taking control of the offense in the huddle, I believe you want to be a quarterback. You got Blitz coming right here. Blitz coming right here. They got to be great decision makers. Hey, when do I throw the ball in hard? When do I soften it up a little bit, put touch on it? Of course, the accuracy and the arm strength, all of that matters. A quarterback has to be humble, unselfish. Want people around him to do better than him. You see the end zone right there, right? You want to score, right? I got you. I always want to give the ball to receivers, let their film be good, let them be the playmakers they can be. And he's pretty tough, too. Pretty tough football player. Takes some shots. I mean, he was coming up young. I said, Dante, you don't have to get hit. You can run, you can scramble. He says, he liked that. That toughness to stand in there and take the hit and deliver. And look at the guy like I told you so. He knows he's one of those guys that we need in the clutch moments. You have to make the decision. You have to have the confidence to go out there and go win us the game. He loves to have fun, <laughs> but he knows that it's the time for everything, and then everybody kind of buys in like and listens to him. The biggest reason why I've gotten better, of course, is because I'm a listener. If somebody gives me a point, I'm not going to look away and be like, hey, I'm a five-star, hey, I'm just, I don't need the information. I'm going to still take it in. You know, he's not like a prima donna or, you know, things so highly of itself. He's always thinking of others first, so because of that, it makes it a joy to come to work every day. He's a mentor and he's a teacher at the same time. Hey, Fat Baby, that's about being a ball player, bro. That was so fire. Ever since he came to King, even the youngest person on the team, people would go to him for advice. And he'd just be like, hey, bro, I just got here too, so <laughs> I'm learning just like you are. I tell him, uh, whatever you do, have fun at it. Bingo. That's why you always see the smiles and the laughing and the dancing. And, the, and he's that same goofy kid off the field. I'm undefeated. The All-American game, of course, is a um, true blessing. You know, great players that have came through King have always, you know, played an All-American game. And I know being in that, you know, big dome and seeing it be on N NBC is like nothing like it, to be honest. And I'm just blessed to even be selected for it. This is a dream. One of the biggest games I told him in, in, in high school. Be very, 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 very thankful that you're here. <laughs>